Hey, what's up everyone? John at the Geek here and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your iPad. And so what I have here is a brand new iPad out of the box. And uh, when I fired it up, it asks me to plug it into iTunes. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the cable and I'm going to plug in the USB cable into my machine here. All right, so now it's indicating that the registration process is ready to begin. So I'll just go ahead and uh, for now I'm just going to hit register later. Alright, so uh, now we have to agree to the iPad software license agreement. Right, and I'm going to go ahead and set this up as a new iPad. If you have other devices, uh, it's going to try to default to restore from a backup, but uh, I'm actually going to set up as a new iPad. And uh, this particular iPad is the... You don't have to name it this. I suggest you name it the other uh, whatever device that you want to name this as. Right, and uh, my own personal preference, I'm just going to for now uh, uncheck all of the automatically syncing. Right, so now that we've activated our iPad device, I'm going to go ahead and click on update. Right, and then now it's given us a warning that updating iOS 5.0 will back up and restore apps on your iPad, so everything should be automated for you. So just go ahead and click on update, and now we're going to wait. This particular process, it looks like it's very fast, but you'll actually have to first download your uh, update, and that could take anywhere between 20 minutes to an hour, depending on your internet connection. It is a fairly large file that it first has to download. My machines already had this because I've already done this to a few machines, or a few iPads, so that's why it's uh, it was really quick and you didn't see anything downloading. Alright, so after everything's been installed, uh, your system's going to reboot a few times during the installation process, and so we have a newly updated iPad. Thanks for watching.